Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is great to have you back on our show. It is now crystal clear that the political altercation between Rigeti Geshago and William Ruto borders around the control of the Mount Kenya Reach boats. Mount Kenya, I think in the last general election, gave William Ruto about 3 million votes, if, if I'm not wrong. At least that was given by Ofuli Chibukati. And there are two divided opinions in the UDA. While Rigeti Shagwa and his supporters believe that he is the one who delivered the 3 million votes to William Samoy Ruto, William, on the other hand, believes that he went to the electorates all by himself, he endeared himself to them, and they voted for him without the support of any Mount Kenya leader. In fact, when you look at leaders like Anwai Guru, Ndindi Nyoro, Kimani Chungwa, and the rest, William Ruto has made them believe that without him, they would have ascended to power. So Rigadi, Riding on that fact in court, he has started uniting Mount Kenya. And he's doing this under the guise of let us unite and vote for William Ruto. Yet William, William Ruto knows very well that Rigedi Geshoga wants the votes for himself so that he can, the, the, whenever he goes to Central, he passes through Rigedi Geshaga. And William Ruto has made it very clear that this politics that borders around uniting our people is just ethnic balkanization and he's saying that the best they can do is to unite the whole country. He has won Rigedi Geshaga, but Rigedi Geshaga has refused to be intimidated. When William Ruto jetted out of the country to attend the Korea-Africa summit, Rigadi Geshagwa, without any apology, reiterated his stand that he is going to unite Mount Kenya and is telling those who are opposing this unity to come to the ground and tell the people that your unity is simply politics of uh, ethnicity. I called for the unity of this region and I'm happy that the ordinary people from this region are united to a man, true or false. So, ignore a few noises here and there. And I ask the leaders from this region, please, all politics is local. All politics is local. Listen to the ground. That is a few goes water. Now, these MCs, they know because they're talking ground. When I get the ground, when I skis the ground. Listen to the ground. And leaders of this region who want to fight unity, don't speak in Western. Don't speak in Utah Valley. Come and speak here. If you think this unity is a bad thing for the Mount Kenya region or its tribalism, the way I'm hearing, don't speak outside there. Kuja ita mkutano hapa mkuruwele, Useme hii umoja ya Mount Kenya ni ukabila. Kati kwa doi tu. They should come and speak from here. Don't speak from far. Because I want to advise our leaders with tremendous respect. Please, our leaders, all politics is local. Listen to your people. Listen to the ground. Align your thinking, your utterances with the people. That is what I do all the time. Mimi naskisa the ground, I align myself with the ground. I tell you one time, and I've never got it wrong in my political life. Any time a decision has to be made, and I align to my bosses, the people. These are our bosses. Three million votes from the mountain made this government secure. And we must get 
the respect due of 3 million votes sio watu wanakaa pale wanaongea vile wanataka hapana tena ni vizuri tutangaze hapa <clears throat> hizo kura zetu nyinyi mnasema nani zimewakilishwa na nani kura zetu milioni tatu. the only figure around that ni regathe wake so it is the battle for the Mount Kenya numbers and according to the Nyeri governor there those numbers are controlled by the deputy president Rigedi Gashagwa and therefore they must be respected and who must respect them William Ruto and his henchmen people like Farouk Kibet and Oscar Sudi and all those who are criticizing his bid to unite the country you know Rigedi Gashagwa learned very closely from the differences between Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto and he saw the kind of politics that William Ruto played around his boss he is copying the very very script and someone was saying that what goes around comes around because William Ruto has met his match Rigathi also understands that when he was about to be named the running mate of William Ruto it came at a cost I remember him rallying the support base from Nyeri and they started this demonstration that it is either Rigathi Gashagwa or not and with that William Ruto gave in and I think it was a mistake because he had showed Rigathi Gashagwa that I can always bow down when you rally the supporters of Nyeri around you they actually intimidated William Ruto but then the question that one would want to ask some people are treating Rigathi Gashagwa as if he's not very important in the in the UDA fraternity of course he's the deputy president and he's also the deputy party leader but why did William Ruto choose Rigathi Gashagwa as his deputy we have been told that he was not the first choice those who voted voted for Kithura Kindiki but William Ruto in his wisdom decided to pick Rigathi Gashagwa because he was a mobilizer and all these things and all these factors that we have been told about so it means that Rigathi Gashagwa was very important so it is someone you cannot wish away in the political discourse that is now happening in the UDA it behoves one to ask one question is there a reason for William Ruto to worry and I think William Ruto is worried that is why he has strategically placed people like Ndindi Nyoro, Kimani Chungwa, Anwai Guru to check Metri Gadi Gashagwa. Why? He wants to ensure that he still controls Mount Kenya. The same way he believes that he went directly, he still wants to control the electorates directly. But it's not going to be very easy for him because politics is dynamic and things have changed. Today, William Ruto must be a worried man because the difference between his votes and Raila's votes in 2022 was only 240,000. And when Rigathi Gashagwa begins this rebellion, William Ruto cannot be assured of the 3 million votes the, the, because if Rigathi decides that I also want to juggle around with the numbers and I want to take part of the numbers, I can assure you that Gadi will get because they are he's playing this sympathy card. And there are those people who believe that he's being intimidated, he's being frustrated. You've known that we've been informed that Rigadi has been denied a military chopper now thrice when he was about to go to Bomet for tree planting, when he was supposed to go to Bungoma to inspect the preparations of the Madaraka celebrations, and on the D-Day when they were going there. Rigadi was denied a military chopper. And you people know it is in public domain now that William Ruto is sponsoring people like Ndindi Nyoro to frustrate him. And if he decides also, because that, that is the card that is playing, and so there are people who will align to his thoughts and he can take the numbers for William Ruto. The only solace that William Ruto is banking on is that Raila will go to the AU and there will be a vacuum in in Nyanza, in Western, and in the Raila strongholds. And William Ruto feels that in the absence of Raila, he can take that and he will compensate for the votes that might be lost 
in, 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 in Central. But it is not very easy because those who are very close to the, to, to the Raila side are saying that you cannot be sure. Raila might go work, if at all he's elected the AUC chairman, he might work there and resign and come back because politics is dynamics, the country is very tired. So he's got a reason to worry. Number two is the Uhuru factor. Uhuru is a very bitter man. William Ruto betrayed him and they went ahead and intimidated his family. After he had handed over power to William Ruto very peacefully according to the, in, in accordance with the constitution of Kenya. And if Rigadi Gashagwa goes and teams up with Uhuru Kenyatta, because that is exactly what they want to do, he's been calling on Uhuru to forgive him. He's been calling on Uhuru to come so that they can unite Mount Kenya together. And recently, the Kikui Council of Elders told him, you know what you're supposed to do, I think, the traditional way of doing it. And the secretary of the Jubilee Party, Jeremiah Kioni, also welcomed Rigadi Gashagwa. He said, if you've seen the light and you can help us work to eradicate UDA from Central, then so we can be it, we can do it. So if Rigadi teams up with the Uhuru, it will be a formidable force and they will ensure that they wipe away UDA. And that's why William Ruto is a very, very worried man. The other thing is the rebellion from the ground. William Ruto is no longer ac accepted on the ground the way people used to welcome him in 2022 because in 2022, it was based on lies and deceptive politics, promises that two, two years down the line have not been realized. And so people have changed, and Gadi Gashagwa understands this very well, that the people no longer welcome William Samuel Ruto. They have known that they were used, the hustler narrative. And Gadi Gashagwa is taking advantage of that, because he knows very well that if William Ruto is not careful, he will not go back to the mountain and get the same reception, the same numbers, because people will tell him off. The economy is now doing bad. Mount Kenya businesses have closed. Taxes are rising higher and people don't see the services. And so Rigadi knows very well that the people will no longer welcome William Ruto. He will ride on that and say, I apologize. I was also cheated the same way you were cheated. I thought William Ruto was a good man. And he knows that Rigadi Gesheva holds that card. He can really mess up with him. The last one is the Raila factor. You know, Rigadi Gesheva can spoil everything. If Rigadi Gesheva today goes to Raila Odinga and tells him, I'm sorry, or he goes through Uhuru Kenyatta, they convince Mount Kenya voters and, and they agree that let us try Raila for the last time. And they say that we want to comp compensate for ditching you and abandoning you in 2022. And they say that now we are going with our votes, the 3 million votes. We want to add it to Raila's basket. It is going to be very difficult for William Ruto because in as much as William Ruto is banking on the Western votes, Raila still controls a chunk of the Western voters. You saw him during the ODM recruitment drive. They still love him. So William Ruto is not very sure that he will get the votes from from western so if Rigadi decides to play around and and, and uh, welcome Raila so that they can work together or they work the three of them Rigadi, Uhuru, Kalonzo and all this it will be a very very difficult moment for William Ruto because William Ruto wants to become a second term president but he wants either the Mount Kenya votes or the western votes both of them are you know hanging very precariously and it will, de it will depend on the politics that Raila plays. Raila and Riedi Gashagwa are going to be very pivotal in Ruto's re-election. That's why I'm telling you that it is not going to be business as usual. I don't know what you think ladies and gentlemen.